Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. This week we are continuing with geotechnical engineering and specifically we are going to talk about consolidation, compression index, recompression index, uh, consolidation settlement, so on, so on. As always, I would like to remind all the engineers with an engineering degree from outside of the United States, if you are interested in evaluating your education in this country, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Just click the link below and you'll be able to download it for free. Now let's move on with our problem. What are expected values of compression and recompression index for clay with liquid limit 45 and plastic limit 15? Now, the compression and recompression index, we have the formulas in the FE handbook. So this is a pretty straightforward problem. Let's go ahead in the FE handbook. And the formulas are on this page. I'll try and show you what, it, what this page is. So this is the beginning of the civil engineering uh, section geotechnical, just a few pages down. And here is the consolidation, soil consolidation uh, part. You have the formulas here and we are asked the um, uh, compre uh, compression index and recompression index. And here are the formulas. We have two formulas and obviously we have the liquid limit provided. So this is the one we're gonna use. Uh, compression index is 0 0.009 times liquid limit minus 10. So let's write this down. Compression index equals to 0 0.009 times liquid limit minus 10 equals to 0 0.009 times 45 minus 10 equals to 0 0.315. And now let's calculate the um, coefficient or recompression index, CR, which we have a formula here, CR is calculated in relation to CC, it's CC over six. So CR equals to CC over six. So I have 0 0.315 over six equals to, 0 0.0525, 0 0.0523. So we have approximately 0 0.32 and 0 0.05. Okay, so it is, it seems like it's A, right? 0 0.32 and 0 0.05. And I have another problem. A 12 foot thick clay layer is overlain by 13 feet thick layer of sand. I have an extra air here. As shown in the figure below, the groundwater is first lowered to the top of the clay layer and then a mat foundation plan dimensions 200 by 150 feet, depth three feet, uniform pressure 1,000 pounds per square feet is constructed. The consolidation settlement is most nearly. So we have the existing situation where the water is eight feet below the ground as shown here in this uh, drawing. And then what they're intending to do is to lower the water all the way to the level of where the clay layer starts and install a mat foundation 200 by 150 three feet below the ground. And we have to calculate the consolidation settlement, meaning the change in a, a clay layer um, height. Let's go and uh, look at our formulas provided by the, by the FE handbook. So the formula for the consolidation settlement, let's see. 
it's called here ultimate consolidation settlement in soil layer is epsilon v times hs where hs is the thickness of the soil layer and hv equals to delta e total over one plus e zero let's write our formula so we have s ultimate equals to epsilon v times h s equals to epsilon v delta e total over equals to delta e times h s over one plus e zero we are given e zero is uh, e 0 0.9 we have to calculate uh, delta E in this case. So in order to calculate delta E, let's see what is the formula for delta E. And delta E will be able to calculate it from the compression index formula. Compression index equals to delta E over delta log pressure. Okay, let's calculate the pressure for the pre-existing condition and then we'll calculate depression after the foundation is being installed so that then later we'll be able to calculate delta e okay so let's to pressure one equals two we have the gamma sand times eight feet let me just write it down uh, with the numbers so that i will waste my time here goes to um 120 times eight feet plus farther we have this layer which is 13 minus eight, we have five, five feet of more saturated soil. So I'll do uh, 132 minus 62.4, wanna get rid of the water, times five feet plus, and then we have the clay, which is 100 minus 62.4, because obviously the clay is also saturated, times 12 equals. And actually not 12. Let me discuss this. Why not 12? Because when we are asked to calculate the settlement Delta P is the induced change in consolidation stress at the center of the consolidating stratum. We have to calculate the stress at the center of the clay layer. So it's going to be times six. And this, let's do the math here, equals to 128 multiply 132, 62.4 minus five multiply. Going to add. And we have 162.4 minus six multiply plus, we have 1533.6 pounds, pounds per square feet. So this is the pressure under the original conditions, pre-existing conditions. And now they're going to lower the water all the way down to clay layer. And they're going to install this big uh, mat uh, foundation three feet below the ground so let's calculate the pressure to once the water is lowered and the surcharge load is applied so we have the surcharge pressure of foundation 100 pounds per square feet plus 
we're going to have 120 multiply now by 13 plus right because we lowered the water we don't have uh, saturated water anymore uh, saturated soil here anymore and we will have plus 100 minus 62.4 times 6 equals okay 1120 13 plus 162.4 minus 6 multiplied plus. We have 2786.6 to 2786.6 pounds per square feet. So now we have the initial pressure and then the the pressure due to new foundation. And now let's calculate the change in void ratio. As I mentioned before, the change in void ratio, we're going to calculate it from this formula, compression index equals to delta E over delta log P. Okay, so compression equals delta E over delta log P, resulting delta E equals to CC times log delta log. Log P actually is P2 over P1. And we have CC is given, we have 0 0.35 multiply by log of P2, which is 2786.6 over 1533.6 equals to 2786.6, log 0 0.35 multiply. I'm getting 0 0.091, 0 0.091, and that is delta E. So now that we have delta E, we can use our uh, formula to calculate the uh, consolidation settlement. So S consolidation settlement equals to delta E which is 0 0.091 multiplied by AGS, which is the height of the HS is the thickness of soil layer, layer. In this case, it's our clay layer, which is 12 feet divided by one plus E0 is 0 0.9 equals. So I have 0 0.091, 12 multiplied, 1.9 divided. So we have 0 0.575 feet. And let's transform in inches 12 multiply getting 6.9 inches and the closest is a seven inches that's it for today i hope you found this video helpful if you did don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the comments below Pick up the good work and I will see you next week.